I'm going to jump right in here because this is the season of anticipation mm. and the season of focus. Yeah. And I want you to stay right there because I like that flow. Uh, there's something when God created music. It was like he, he, he positioned an energy inside of it. And uh, Will's got a product, and he'll talk about it on Saturday, where you can synergize the music with the message, yeah. and it will permeate every cell, every living cell in your body. Oh, yeah. All 70 trillion cells wow. that are in your body. So this is the time for sensitivity, focus, really understanding what's happening around you. Who are the people oh, yeah. that are connecting with you? Who are you connected with during this season of opportunity? Don't get down, don't be sad, and we're gonna talk about that uh, for a few minutes today because of what is beginning to happen and will continue to happen. Probably for the next seven years, we're going to be in a season of opportunity uh, that we're calling a recession, but this season, we're going to see um, new millionaires, new billionaires. I want to talk to you this evening, and I'm going to use Philippians 4, verses 7 and 13 as the primary basis for our time together. I'm going to actually start at verse 6. Verse 6 reads and says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. And I want you to, as the music plays and we begin to build momentum, I want you to think about every word as if the word is God. Because we say that, but do we really understand when we say the word is God? That means you're speaking God conscious words when you speak this holy writ and you speak this scripture. And sometimes we take it for granted because we grow up all of our lives being, you know, churchified in a sense. The routine of church, the mechanism of church. And so when we hear scripture, many times when we hear familiar scripture, We've heard it thousands of times, so we're not sensitive to new revelation. But I want you to be sensitive. I'm going to start again because I want you to be sensitive. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made, be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report. And you know, good report is all about perspective. Right. Because I may see something as a calamity and you may see it as a good report. <laughs> If there is any virtue, if there's any virtue, and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last your care for me has flourished again. Though you surely did care, but you lacked opportunity. See, when you have a business mind, when you hear those types of words, opportunity, something leaps. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am right, right, right. to be content. Isn't that something? I know how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere, in all things, I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Somewhat of an unorthodox subject for what we currently understand is church, but church is changing and you're going to see a shift in 
the very concept of church with the internet and the explosion of technology. There are now cyber churches that are being birthed where there are one million people that are joining these movements. And it's not just about building a big building, but it's about connecting with people, wherever they are, however they're moving. I often say we're moving at hyperspeed. Well, when you're moving at hyperspeed, you can't always slow down and get dressed up and worry about how you look right. so that you can show up and hang out with other people who are only worried about how they look. But when you're moving in your destiny and moving how God created you to move, you begin to reassess everything in your life and how things are being positioned, how things are being spoken. You start hearing people that, your best friends, you start hearing them and they say, they don't sound like they used to sound because you've got a different perspective.